Kelly, Anthony Pitts of Southeast Portland has type 1 diabetes. When his blood sugar gets too low, he can act disoriented, pass out, or even have seizures. He says he was banned from TriMet for having one of these reactions on a train. I just don't understand why I was cited for criminal activity. I didn't. I wasn't doing anything criminal. Anthony Pitts shows us a notice of exclusion he received from TriMet officials, banning him from buses and trains for 60 days. He says they mistook his medical condition for something else. Here's what happened. On July 11th, Pitts was riding the Max home when he started to feel funny. He passed out, drooling on the train, and woke up in an ambulance. He says the EMT told him TriMet officials kicked him off and called police and medics. He said that they thought you were under the influence of drugs. You were placed in handcuffs. But he was actually suffering a reaction from type 1 diabetes. My blood sugar was too low. And when your blood sugar gets too low, you pass out. You're incoherent. You don't know what's going on around you. Pitts was taken to Legacy Emanuel Hospital and even has a letter from the doctor who treated him confirming his condition. And they clearly state how low my blood sugar was. It was 28. I was unconscious. Pitts keeps a card on him that says he has diabetes, and he says TriMet officials overlooked this. TriMet would not do an interview, but a spokeswoman sent me an email saying Pitts was actually awake and not responding to a supervisor that day. Part of the email reads A background check showed Mr. Pitts had a prior incident of fare evasion, so the supervisor wrote up an exclusion, which is standard procedure. When someone is not responding to questions or commands, it can be difficult to tell if they are doing so on purpose or if the person may be having a medical emergency. You should find out before you do anything like that to anybody. You know, get your facts right first. TriMet officials say that they will waive that exclusion if Pitts brings them the note from his doctor. I'm Melissa Harrington, Coin 6 News.